<laughs> Good morning. Oh. Uh, uh, um. Get it right. Good morning. <laughs> it's Monday, December 3rd. We are on our way to a doctor's appointment for baby girl. This is our 30, technically our 34 week checkup, even though I'm 34 weeks and three days. Our doctor wasn't at the hospital, at the office last week. So we're here today. We are at the point where we see her once every two weeks until we hit 36 weeks and then we go once a week. They ain't facing me. <laughs> I don't have my, um. so I bought a mount for the car and it's not, it's not working. Can you say ass cheeks on here? No? All right. It's whack cheeks. It is. You bought that damn, I mean, <laughs> you bought that. Let me not say, let me not go there. Let me see. All right, your camera gonna be down the street. <laughs> I'm just gonna prop that up for a second. Um, we'll try to get a little footage. I think the doctor's gonna listen to her heart rate. Normally when we see the doctor, it's not very eventful. It's just they check my weight and check her heart and then they measure me. And we're pretty much in and out in like five minutes, but we have to fight this Atlanta traffic to get there. So we're just in traffic right now. What else happened? What, what else we got going on today? I'm gonna make my wig. Oh, that's pretty. That's a big event. It's a big event. Y'all stay tuned. It's the main event. What's his name off of a uh, scary movie? Hanson. Hanson. <laughs> I'm not gonna look like that. It's gonna work, y'all. It's gonna be, it's gonna be perfect. I'm telling you, I, I'm claiming it. I'm manifesting it because I ain't got no choice. I did get my hair braided last night. Hey, if it worked, if it worked though, y'all need to shop. Y'all need to shop. <laughs> I ain't gonna be making wigs for folks. Shoot, I'm making mine though. But yeah, so I'm excited to go to the doctor. I actually made a list of questions this time. She always asks, "Do you have any questions?" And I'm like, "No," but I have questions and I just forget them. But today, I have questions because I wrote them down. So, I guess we'll probably just check back in when we get to the doctor's office because I don't have a camera mount and I don't want y'all to be sliding across the dashboard. So, we'll see how we get there. Come in. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hey. Hi there. Hi. So, how's it going? How are you feeling? I'm fine. Good. Baby's active, moving well. All right, lean back. Let's measure you and then we'll listen. <laughs> Easy now. Wow, well, baby's flipping. Mm -hmm. Good so, the rate is in the 160s today. Y'all know how much I weigh? Oh, no, nah, they don't. You want to tell them? I've gained. Not 30 16. pounds. Not 30 pounds. 16. No. 25 pounds. Oh. No, 20. We can't 26. do that. About, about 25 pounds. Yeah. 26. Well, no, 24. Yeah, 24. We've entered a new era. There was a new. Decade. A new, right. a new set of tens. Yeah, there you go. On the scale. I wasn't prepared for it, but you know. Who's holding the BB? Hmm. Anything for you, little girl? That's right. Even stretch marks. Even stretch marks. Okay. Alrighty. We'll be back. We're trying to find somewhere to eat because we came to a restaurant that we won't mention. And their score is an 80. Y'all know like the, what's it called? What is that, their health score? Mm-hmm. An 80. That's, that's pretty bad for food. And I feel like it's consistently been like low 80s, but right now it's an 80. Cause I tried to come a couple months ago and it was like an 83 or something. I feel like y'all ain't getting no better. I can't feed my baby to 80 food. Mm -hmm. Am I the only person who won't eat at a restaurant if the score is too low? Like I think you shouldn't I, be. I think a 95 is like 
okay, we're, we're cool at a 95. But when we start getting in them 80s, I'll eat a 90. I won't eat no, I won't eat no 85 though. You ate the 85 at Waffle House. Yeah, yeah, that's why I feel like Waffle House, House is the only exception. <laughs> if Waffle House got a 98, that food gonna be nasty. They can have a good, I mean, really, it's all about who the cook is because we went to our favorite Waffle House the other day and that was not the, the right cook. But if the you need like a young, you need a nah, young. Hold up, let me give y'all one. If the cook got a lineup, that food ain't gonna be good. What? <laughs> the guy who we normally have be having a lineup. No, he don't. Babe, that don't even make sense. So now that haircut got to be raggedy to be a good cook. As hey, what y'all think? Everybody eat Waffle House, and I don't talk about when you ain't when you only in Georgia. Like you got to eat Waffle House regularly. If your cook ain't sweating, they gotta have a rag <laughs> on their shoulder. If they ain't to sweating. wipe their sweat off, that's how you know the food gonna be good. But if you got like a like a. I don't know, that man we had last time was just not the one. It'd be that young guy who'd be in there, he'd be good. His shirt was all clean. Yeah, no, that, that food ain't gonna be good. So, I mean, I'll eat at a Waffle House that's not rated the highest, which is kind of sad, but it's kind of the expectation for Waffle House. You know, I mean, it's not like Chick-fil-A. Like, Chick-fil-A is gonna be like, you know, my pleasure. Chick-fil-A is every time. Yeah, it's like, you know. Sometimes they fries get a little cold. Sometimes them chicken nuggets don't be crispy enough, but honestly, he about to get hit. Put them headphones on. I ain't even running sneakers. What is he doing? Lit. <laughs> anyway, moral of the story is that restaurant had an 80, and I'm really sad because I had my mouth fixed for some fried green tomatoes with pimento cheese. With pimento cheese, and I can't even eat there. Like we came in through the back door, and Malcolm got a C. I was like, oh, I gotta go to the front because I gotta see if that score has improved, and it has not. I can't eat there. Like I have left um, plenty of restaurants because those scores were. I'm not gonna feed my baby that 80 food. I wouldn't feed myself that 80 food, so I'm not gonna get sick for that. If it's if it's a if it's an 85 to a 90, you need to just say an extra little piece of prayer over that food. Just a little extra prayer, okay? Because something ain't being refrigerated at the proper temperature if they in the 80s. Okay, so we're at Silver Skillet. Malcolm picked this place. He said it was on diners, drive-ins, and dives. And of course, their score is a what? A hundred, exactly. <laughs> so old. That's for real though. It made me smile when I walked in. Yeah, that's pretty gross to be eating somewhere that's an 80. So it's like an old diner style. I had to use the restroom and you have to go outside and do the kitchen to get to the bathroom. It's like that. Hopefully the food is good because me and baby girl are hungry. I just got pancakes, eggs, and bacon because I'm plain. What you get? I got um, spicy catfish strips, grits and eggs, and biscuits. I want some biscuits. They said the biscuits are really good. I ordered two pancakes. They're too big, so I put the other one in the to-go box. Eggs and bacon. What's those catfish strips? Yep, grits and eggs. Eggs, biscuits. biscuits. Okay. Babe, are you, are you back? Babe in here making sandwiches. Why well, that made me think about bad Santa? <laughs> you want some sandwiches? <laughs> you want lettuce on your sandwiches? <laughs> we should watch that. This Christmas time. I love that movie. All right, y'all. Day. What day is this? Four. Four. All right. So day four. Um, not a whole lot of. Excitement, y'all saw the little restaurant we went to. You putting this on there? Oh, uh, don't <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, look at look at this head and then look at her head. My head is not this big, okay. But I did have to get a 23 inch wig head, which is kind of large, however. However, it's because I have natural hair and I have to braid it down and my braids are a little, you know, you know, you have to accommodate for the extra space from the braids. So technically like an inch is braids. My head is not that big. Okay. Don't be telling people that. You got this damn <laughs> wrestler head. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Get that damn boxing glove head out of here. <laughs> It's 
it's okay though. I mean, you cute. But that head look like a boxing glove, and that's the same size as your head. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm just, I like the kid around. Y'all know I love my wife. But we had fun. You said I had a big head. I mean, it is kind of large, you it's know? It's not big. I mean, it ain't like overly big. What, what you mean overly big? That's what I'm saying. It ain't like... It ain't big at all. It ain't like a like disproportionate to your body. You got a Christmas wish list? Um, I just want my baby to be healthy and happy and labor to be quick and painless. I know that's a stretch, but that ain't no Christmas wish list. Yes, huh? That's after Christmas. I don't care. Santa can come late. All I want is my baby to be healthy and happy and cute. And for this labor and delivery to just be like quick. I'm praying for three hours of labor, two pushes, and one baby. All right. Man. Ambitious, huh? That's very ambitious. That's what I want. Because, y'all, I'm, I'm trying not to think about... I'm just not thinking about the labor and delivery part. I'm not thinking about it. I'm just going to wait until it happens, and then I have no choice but to do it. That's my philosophy. I don't know if that's a good philosophy. <laughs> hey, I'm sure many people did that. Okay. All right, you got that glove on? But it's, I don't know how to make this stop rolling. I, oh, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can. I'm sure. It's on a, it's on a. Yeah, that thing probably tighten up if you spin that, that uh -uh. the bottom piece, the bottom, the little this? turntable thing. This? Yeah. Dang, my fingers were still right there. Oh, sorry. Okay. Wish me luck. <laughs> You think I can do it? I mean, yeah. In the comments, they said you look like you ain't had no faith in me. I mean, hey, you know, I, you ain't never done no hair before like that. It don't matter. I can so, do anything. Definitely, hey, you already got all the supplies. Good luck. Okay. We'll check back in later. Yeah.